Hello everybody, how are we all doing this evening? I hope you're all ready for some clock tower, because that's what's going down. I'm just going to quickly change the script that we've got here, because we're not playing that. We are going to play this. So, and we really are going to play. Um, this time we're going to play one. You're going to see it from my perspective. I'd like to think our perspective. Uh, we're going to play some Bad Moon Rising, and hopefully we will be victorious. But if we're not, we'll definitely have a good time. Okay, I'm going to unmute myself on Discord now. Let's do this. I see your jams. Hello. Oh, wait. You, we are now live. Yay. Hey. Hey. Hi, chat. We are live on Channel 4. Please do not swear. <laughs> uh, I always have to be... I, have to, I always have to wait until Ben tells me to be, to be alive. And then I'm alive. <laughs> <laughs> I need special permission. Like confirmation, you know, I think, therefore I am. Ben tells me I live, therefore I live. <laughs> Absolutely. We've got a we've got a jams joining us, I think. Everything's better with jams. We got jams? Yep, there's a jams up there. So quick, is everyone here okay playing with th with thirty? I would T Ravel if uh if we got if we're up to thirteen. I'm playing a little bit of hooky. Yeah, throw in I mean, a trouble. Yeah, I mean, I'm down if everyone else is down Traveler. I know some people don't like Traveler, but if everyone's good with it, I can play tra I can run a Traveler. I'm easy. I'm, I'm personally of the opinion that BMR plays best when you've got three minions, but that's purely my subjective opinion. <laughs> Chaos! Can't imagine why. <laughs> Chaos! <laughs> your, it's your call, Kota. You're the, your table, your rules. Yeah, I know, but I want to make sure everyone is having the best game possible. So there's if, if like, Tyler would rather travel than play in a... A uh, 13 player game, then I will do a traveler as long as everyone else is okay with traveler. I'm personally fine to run a 13 player game. I feel confident in my abilities to do so, but it is up to the table, as it were. So you're saying the best game possible, so I'm hearing a matron, yes? <laughs> God. <laughs> matron is prima. Not gonna lie. Team Bishop. Basically, Tyler, it is, it, is, it is up to you. Would you rather play or would you rather travel? Like I said, at thirteen, I mean, I I would rather I mean, because I'm I'm playing hooky from work, uh. So, if it was to go the distance that BMR can, I think it would be tough for me at thirteen. But, um, that's a good point. That, actually, that's what we I was saying. A, we are in a time frame. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, so, Tyler, pick a pick a pick a traveler. Go. I mean, if it's BMR. I'm the uh, apprentice or the matron or the primo choices. I don't want to be the bishop because that's just mean to town. Uh. <laughs> the Voodon? <laughs> the Voodon is fucking this, man. <laughs> the Voodon would be quite interesting, actually, to showcase the off. If you want to show off the Voodon, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm game. down for that. Yeah. Who, who better than Esoteric Tyler to be a Voodon? <laughs> so, for the benefit of chat, some of whom may have not seen Travelers, uh, Travelers are characters for people who show up late or need to leave early. And they are, they can be either good or evil, and everybody will know what that character's ability is, but only the player will know which team they're playing for. And they can't be executed, they can only be exiled. And anybody can call for the exile of a traveller, including dead players, and everyone votes for free on a traveller's exile, including dead players. Uh, so Tyler's going to be the Voodon, and you'll see that these traveller characters can be very powerful. The Voodon's ability is, only you and the dead can vote. They don't need a vote token to do so. A 50% majority is not required. So, on day one, assuming nobody dies on day one, Tyler will be the only player who can vote. And from that point onwards, only the dead players will vote. And we only need one vote to execute someone. So it's it really shakes up the way the game is played. Is everyone good with the Voodon? I think it'd be a really fun uh, <laughs> show for Gen Con. Yeah, sure. If... Yep. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Definitely. I guess we're gonna do this. I have a game already set up, already fully set up for you. Um, so I'm gonna send you all to bed. I'm going to wish you all a very good game and let get this going. Um, yeah, let's have fun, guys. Woo! Go. Let's do it. Do it. Do it. Best do script. It. Go on, kill me. <laughs> if you insist. Uh, <laughs> one quick question. Here's not that too much. Before we, before we all break off. Yes. Uh, what are you going to do with the Traveler and the Tea Lady combo? Good question. 
<laughs> I am going to rule that uh, the traveler counts towards the tea lady tea lady because it says alive neighbors. So uh, traveler counts the tea lady for this game. That is how I'm ruling it. Um, if you want to discuss how I should rule it, we can do that after. But for this game specifically, I'm ruling it that way. Yeah, I don't right. could rule it any other way, really. That's rules of the game, right? Specific question is whether it's pertinent to traveler exiles or just to executions. Uh, just executions. Just executions. Is well, like, exile is another is not execution. Exiling right? and that yeah. is not death. Delightful. Exile does. Okay. Someone has. Yeah, I will say someone right? of uh, of some uh, knowledge of the rules has stated different on that, but I will accept that ruling. I am not yes, protected I, by I a lady willing, for the purposes of. I am one thousand percent willing to listen and to have a conversation and maybe ch change how I rule this in future, future games. But for this exact game, I'm ruling it that exiles are not deaths. Oh, yeah. I apologize yes. if that is not uh, correct with your knowledge. How did so let's that? get let's get this party started then. <clears throat> Patrick, if you claim Tea Lady, I'm... <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, that right there is a great example of... Uh... Oh, we're still in Town Square. What's all that about? I have no <clears> idea. <throat> do I not have current game? I do have current game. How odd. Oh, well. I will wait for uh, Kota to... Uh, do you know what? I can probably just do it manually. I'm not looking, I'm not looking, I'm not looking. Oh, there we go. We're good. Okay. Still not looking. There we go. All right, cool. Yeah, that right there is a perfect example of how this game is more D and D than it is spectator sport. Like little little rules variations like that, uh, are things that the that the storyteller has to come up with on the fly. Very important. Anyway, yes, uh, here we are. We're finally doing a player perspective game on Gen Con, and it's B Bad Moon Rising, objectively the best script, as we all know. Still not got a character though. Any minute now. It is a great spectator sport, yeah, I agree. I'm kind of in the mood to be an outsider today. I'm, I'm feeling Moonchild or Goon. <clears throat> but we'll see. We'll see what we get. Still no character. Ah, there we go. Oh, with a demon. Okay. <laughs> that's a, that's a, the opposite of an outsider. All right, Pucker. Okay. I wonder if Dakota handed us that because we're streaming or not. <clears throat> okay. So what's interesting is if Tyler is an evil Voodon, then he will know that we're the demon. So if Tyler asks for a chat with us, then... Probably Tyler is an evil traveler. So it's worth noting that even though this is a 13 player game, for the purpose of um, distributing characters, it's a 12 player game because Tyler doesn't count towards that. So there'll be one demon, two minions, um, two outsiders. And seven townsfolk. And unless we've got a godfather on our team, that is definitely going to be the makeup of the game. <clears throat> There's a lot hello. of. Oh, hello. How do you like your demon? Yeah, Pucker. It's, uh, I don't think I've ever actually been a Pucker before, so this is a first for me. Yeah. Um, so, I, since we have chat, I do want to say I love the question Alejo asked, by the way, and Jamie asked. Because I love that there's all these little different interactions with this game that the storytellers of, you know, I, I hate giving myself props. The storytellers of some renown can have just small, discrete arguments like that where we can just sit and talk about rule cha rules like that and change people's minds. I love those kind of questions. They're so good. Yeah, I agree. And well, I was just saying to chat how that's a great example of how the role you're in is more dungeon master than referee because you've got to you've got to sort of come up with things on the fly rulings on the fly that perhaps you hadn't even thought about until then 
but yeah like legitimately although i'm ruling it the way i said i'm ruling it the more i think about it the more i lean the other way but since i made the decision i'm gonna rule that way i'm ruling it that it doesn't count for uh tea lady but it's really fascinating anyways that's not what we're here for i'm here to tell you that your minions are roxy and george roxy and your and george demon george. bluffs are grandmother mm -hmm. gambler and yep yep pacifist oh, okay cool yeah I, I had to give you at least one outsider in those buffs so <laughs> nice one all right, all right fantastic. Thank, you. thank you okay i think they're uh, pretty pretty solid bluffs it's always nice to get grandmother because the grandmother will have learnt about another player so I uh, I reckon that when one of our we'll wait for one of our minions to approach us and then we'll give them grandmother and we'll take pacifist I like pacifist because it's very subjective role you can never truly know whether or not your lack of death was as a result of the pacifist uh, and it's like it's powerful enough that you want to keep it around but it's not so powerful that people are going to question why you're still around in the final three so i think that's like to me that's the the ultimate bluff for uh, for, for a blood on the clock tower demon Yeah, I think we'll probably hand Gambler to one of our minions. I'm really hoping that one of our minions is uh, is an, uh, a Devil's Advocate, because then we can have one of them not die and claim to be responsible for it. <clears throat> I think the the most <laughs> the most difficult thing about this game is the fact that Jams is not on our team, because Jams is a builder of worlds. Jams is quite capable of of objectively proving that the things you're saying cannot be true and jams will actively take an interest in whether or not i am trying to solve the game and i've been told that one of my biggest tells is that when i'm evil i don't try to solve the game so i'm gonna i need to be i'm gonna try my best to be seen as being as proactive as possible during this game i could be the lunatic that is true i very much could be the lunatic, and we'll see what happens if Roxy and if Roxy and or George approaches us. We'll see. I wonder what happens if we choose ourselves in the night, because we'll then be poisoned and won't be able to die. But then do we do we unpoison because that's a part of our ability as well? Or do we just remain perpetually poisoned for the entire game? <clears throat> yeah, skills is dangerous. Skill, there's 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 several people here that are, that are quite good. Alejo is pretty good at world building as well. It scares me because it's the opposite of the style of clock tower that I like to play. I'm a, I'm a bit of a dum dum, so I don't I generally play more the social side than the mechanical side. Ben Burns, please pick a player. Ah, oh, yeah, I forgot I get to do this. Um, ooh, okay, I don't. I'm afraid of Alejo, but I'm not going to pick Alejo just in case. Oh, I don't know, actually. Jam scares me as well, but I think those guys know that. So I'm actually going to go ahead and choose skills, I think. Skills? Yeah. Yeah. All right, thank you so much. Cheers. Yeah, skills scares me, but I don't think people would expect me to pick skills. Now we've got an opportunity here with Pukka to to fake a zomboor, I think. We could select some dead players. It's not necessarily a great um yeah, I know there is a bit of an echo from Dakota. Probably not much we can do about that though. If you ever became unpoisoned, you'd die. Yeah, that's that's probably how that works. Oh, it is. Oh, we're back. You all 
wake up another sleepless night cold dreadful night you look out the window of your cabins of your homes that you have known for so long and you shiver with fear as lurking prowling preying on you and you alone is the dog man of ravenswood bluff as they howl at the moon sending fear through your bones you wonder can anyone save us can anyone anyone at all be the hero that we need Dakota, that's me, hello, your, your storyteller, is dead once again. A traveler has walked in to find my body this morning. The rest of you, including the traveler, will take it as your own duty to find out where this dog man is, who this dog man is, and why are they killing all your storytellers. Good luck, have fun. I'll give you a little bit of a long day today. 22 after whatever hour it is in your time zone. Have a good time. You said duty. (laughs) (laughs) (sighs) Wow. That's your tall stay here. Yep. Yeah, I mean, we we, we agreed we're not going to talk about the game, right? I think so. Uh, Are we going to take it dutifully? Yeah, (laughs) dutifully. Just going to enjoy each other's Uh, company. Yeah. Right, who wants to enjoy my company in another room? Let's go! I I don't know who said. popular! Who's... who's... Maggot, I believe. Go Go on then, Maggot, lead the way. Hello, Mr. Ben. Hello, Maggot. What are you... I'm I'm just going to pick someone and trust them, I'm thinking, this game. So, are you up for being... Are you up for being bosom buddies? Oh, dear. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, I'll, I'll go first then. I am the pacifist. Oh, interesting. It'd be interesting to see how you get used. Yes, I know, right? What, what about yourself? I will tell you I'm the gossip. The gossip? Oh, okay. Feel free to gossip me. Well, you know, maybe don't gossip me, but feel free to I'll if you want to. I'll do something to do with, like, daytime protection. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Kind of thing. Today, I think, based on that. Of gossip. Gossip. There we go. Cool. All right. Good talk. So yeah, we can back yeah, each other up down the line if either of those. Oh, it's fine. Yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. Fantastic. Okie doke. See you later. That is the only sound. <laughs> you're alone. Oh, that's you beautiful. Us. Hey, how's it going? Oh, there's people back. Hey, people <laughs> back. Hello. What's the chat? Go on. I'll have a chat. I'll t- uh, go on, come on, George, let's go for a talk in Ag- Aggie's Apothecarium. Oh, go on then. <clears throat> Hello. Hello. So, what are you, George? I'm the assassin. Roxy is the mastermind. Okay, good to know. Uh, assassin. Yep. Uh, so, George, uh, I'm the pucker. Okay. The bluffs of pacifist, grandmother, and gambler. I've taken pacifists. So what might be an idea is if we can, if hopefully Roxy can ask to talk to me, we can mm-hmm. then give her grandmother and you can take Gambler. Yeah, sure. That's that's fine. Cool. Yeah. I'll, yeah. Cool. Awesome. Uh, who right. do you, who is in today? Uh, skills. Ah, oh, cool. Right. Awesome. <laughs> okay. I'll catch you then. Cheers. All right. All right. We're probably not the lunatic. <laughs> yes, Jack. Garogi. Oh, yes. Hello, Mag. Let's go. Skills, let's chat. Sure, you can go and tell me your village. <laughs> Madeline, do you want to go for a chat? Sure. Lead the way. So. I just realised I haven't noted down what George claimed to be. No. There we go. Uh, okay, right. What, what do you what do you fancy? Like, do you want to just go hard one for one, or would you would you be more comfortable with a two for two, or what 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 do you what do you want? What do you want? Hard claims in the name of the law. <laughs> nice one. I'm a fan of hard claims. Okay. Uh, so I will tell you that I am in fact. The pacifist. Oh, cool. I'm the tinker. Right. 
<laughs> okay. I like the pacifist. You know what? You, are you, what? Uh, uh, were you going to say something? Sorry, go ahead. Never mind. Okay, I was just going to say I like pacifist because it's like, it's not, it's not so weak that people will advocate for your death, but it's also not so powerful that you can't tell people that you're the pacifist. I mean, there's no demons out there prioritizing pacifists, right? Yeah. So I think it's a good role for uh, for showing off from a player perspective. Exactly. And so I'm thinking, try to get myself executed, see if the pacifist ability works. Yeah. I mean, I, honestly, I'm kind of hoping it doesn't, because then that'll just make me look like a devil's advocate that shows you. But uh, but I'm not I'm... gonna I'm not gonna tell you not to try and do that. I know. I don't know. It's just a matter of convincing Tyler to do it. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. Rudon, I forgot. Yeah. Oh, right. we tell... We're, we're going to be doing um, Tyler to want to ask nominations any minute now, so let's head back. All right. Ciao. Anyone want to get in any last minute chats? Go for it, Ben. I'll follow you. <laughs> hey, Hello. Roxy. Hello. Have you claimed anything? Um. I claimed gambler. <laughs> okay, well that's what that's what I've given George. But cool. um, you can be the grandmother that saw me as the pacifist if you like. Pacifist, yeah, absolutely. Um, did he tell cool. you I was the mastermind? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I'm the pucker, and skills is poisoned. Oh, well, um, Jackie's just told me she's the gossip. Uh, Maggots hard claimed that to me, so I'm pretty sure that's a lie. <laughs> Interesting. But I'll mark it down anyway. <laughs> We'll see what happens. All right, cool. Cheers. Cool, thanks. No. Okay. Would anybody want to chat with me? I think we're about out of time, but uh, I'll, I'm up for a chat if you want. Let's do it. Either way. Five minutes or so. Hello. Hello, Tyler. So, would you like to hard claim? Well, I mean, I'm the mood on. My <laughs> understanding that you're my demon. <clears throat> uh, yeah, that's correct. Okay. Um, so, uh, welcome, welcome back to Town Square. I will do a few a moments in chat. I will take gossips, both verbally and in game chat. Feel free to gossip at any point. Um, once the gossiping ends, I'll give a few more moments for chat, and then I'll open nominations. Tyler will gossip that the demon's name ends. With the letter I. Oh. Her, somehow. Very specific. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep. There are two possibilities. <laughs> nice. I will gossip. You can nail this down traveler, quick. I will gossip that the traveler is now, this very moment, sat next to a tea lady. Her I nice. garbage. garbage. To gossip that there is at least one form of daytime protection in play. Heard. Uh, Alea would like to gossip that the demon is a player whose name starts with a letter. Adjacent to I. Heard. I also hear Madeline's I gossip that there's a puka in play. Uh, ben will gossip that the demon's name begins with an M or a J, which pleasingly <laughs> is a bunch of people all in a row. Heard. Mm -hmm. And that the demon is Michael Jackson. <laughs> Jackie will gossip that the demon is set between skills and maggot clockwise inclusive. Heard. Hey, does that mean they got away with it because they're a smooth criminal? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Skills would like to gossip that the demon is seated between Patrick and Maggot, counterclockwise inclusive. Heard. George will gossip that there is a devil's advocate in play. Heard. Um, I hear George's gossip. I hear Patrick gossip. Uh, Pat will gossip that um, either Sailor, Minstrel, or Gambler is a bluff. One of at least Heard. one of those. Heard. If that is all of the gossip at this time, I'll give you a few more moments and then open nominations. And I are in a double claim. Is that a, is that a DA double claim? <laughs> you want to go with that one? Well, I've heard a few potential tea ladies around, so I wanted to, you know, confirm maybe that it's uh, 
either a tea lady or protection. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So this town conformed to the normal uh, kind of milieu of not talking to the traveler because, like, I don't have anything to share, quote unquote. Um, but in response to that, I don't know anything enough to vote on who needs to go down. So people need to tell me some things for me to make a good decision. Yeah, Otherwise, I'm I just would... shooting in the dark. Tyler, uh, I can tell you some information right now if that's helpful. Uh, there yeah. is a double claim between me and Madeline, and there's a double claim between Maggot and Jackie. Okay. Ooh, Ooh okay. Their fate is and, in your hands. Um, and Maggot. if you think you might survive an execution? I would not survive an execution. In fact, I might just die any time because... I will be taking nominations. Before I start nominations, I will once again reiterate for uh, chat. The Voodon is the travel of this game. The Voodon means that only the Voodon and whoever is dead can vote. The dead don't need to use their dead votes, and a 50% majority is not required. So when we run any nomination, the only person who will be allowed to vote is Tyler. Honestly, what I'm going to do for this first day, since there's only Tyler that can vote, I'm not even going to run the nomination. I'm going to ask Tyler, do you want to vote? And then do so accordingly. I mean, right. you could just kill the up, dinker. I will. I will put up the 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 vote. Uh, the vote itself, um, and run it. But I'm just going to ask Tyler and go from there accordingly. Uh, Maggot, did you tell me the truth today? Maybe. I mean, you're in a double claim, so it'd be useful to know. Useful. I have spells, really Jackie. Jackie. We are with Patters. You said you're in a double claim with Madeline, right? Correct. Yes. Okay. I clinch it first. I know. I said I was the tinker, and then you said, Am I your grandmother? And I went, No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I'm first, the worst, second, the best, you know? Second call for nominees. I'm going to nominate I'll myself. Nominate okay. Who nominates Maggot Maggot? Someone said that? I think you're in there. No, I, nomin that. I nominated Madeline at the same time that Ben nominated themselves. Um, I heard Patrick first. I'll go to Ben yeah. after uh, right. I run Patrick's nomination. So Patrick, please tell me why uh, you want to kill Madeline. So Tyler, why do why do you want to kill Madeline? For for one, Madeline can't defend herself right now because they're not sat down, uh, and they're also in a double claim. So this is the perfect opportunity to take out someone potentially evil. Madeline, your defense, please. I was the one who told Town first that we're in a double claim. Therefore, you can suspect that if I were evil, I'd try to you know bury that stuff. Like, you know, a deep, dark secret you bury with various things, including board games. Can I just... Was Madeline the first person to say it? I felt like I was the first person right. to say it. With oh, that, yeah. I will ask You were the first person Tyler. to say it publicly. This is like some weird gaslighting shit. I don't know what's real no. or fake now. <laughs> Tyler, are you voting? Oh Tyler votes yes. Tyler votes yes. Madeline is on the block, uh, marked for execution. Um, yeah, any other nominations? I mean, you're in a double claim about who, who claimed to be in a double claim, so I think that's I, fair. I swear I said it. This is my mic feed not working. So at this point, we literally can't beat the one we've got, can we? We can only yep. tie it. Yeah, it would just be a tie. tie I'm, I'm going to allow nominations for the fact that you can tie. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to nominate then. I'm sorry, Ben, if, if, I, if I took uh, an ability to check something. No, it's fine. Um, no, it's yeah. all good. It can always be done tomorrow. All right. Right. I'll look at the day in five, four, three, two, one. Dear Madeline, has become my chaos twin. Has become food for the dog man. Everyone, please, please, go to sleep. Okay. Um, do you know what? I think that went perfectly. Uh, oh, George has decided to uh, <laughs> fall out of his seat. <clears throat> yeah, um, I think that went really well because we were seen to be attempting to nominate ourselves first, but we actually then didn't have to go through with it. I don't think that could have gone better because that gives us... That's something that we can bring up later. That gives us clout, I think. Uh, Rishil in Toronto, I'm aware that you've just tried to type in chat, uh, but you accidentally typed ho instead of home, and it's been <laughs> it's been denied by the auto mod, so you might want to just type that out again. 
I t if it was if it was the blood on the clock tower channel, I wouldn't mind how being an official a term that's allowed. But I don't want to make that decision on. Um... <laughs> it wasn't a typo. All oh, right, okay. Hello, Ben. Hello, <laughs> Hello. chat. How would you? What would you like to do? Who would you like to kill? Uh, okay. So I think we'll probably. Uh... So the fact that Jackie and Maggot are in a. Yeah, I'm gonna. I think that actually possibly. Oh, we spoke to Maggot first and he claimed gossip, so I think Maggot's probably the real gossip. So I actually think Jackie might be something stronger. So I'm gonna poison Jackie. You're gonna poison Jackie? Yeah. Alright, thank you. Cheers. <clears throat> it could be a tough road to who? I always, I always f f found it amusing that um, the Thundercats shout how. I don't know. This is probably a. This is going to be like a boomer reference that uh, a lot of you kids don't know. But when I was a kid, there was this awesome TV show called Thundercats, and uh, the leader of the Thundercats, Lionel, would like raise his sword up and be like, "Thunder, Thunder, Thundercats, ho!" He just shout ho, and I always thought that was pretty well. Later on, when I was a teenager and thought I was dead, dead funny, I thought that was pretty entertaining. <laughs> snarf, snarf, snarf. Oh my god, I, lo I loved that show so much when I was a kid. That and Masters of the Universe, and here, here's another one that nobody remembers: The Hurricanes. That was, that was, that. I think that only ran for like two seasons, and it was about like a soccer team that went around the world fighting evil. It had, it had such a, such an amazing intro song as well. It was like Hurricanes, Champion Spirit is here to stay. Wow, wow, wow. Every, every kid's like theme back in the 80s and 90s was just full of electric guitar solos. It, what a time to be alive. Such a such a great time for cartoons. Thunderbirds, oh man. I had like a... When I was a kid, I had um, a Tracy Island model with all the Thunderbirds, like, planes and stuff. It was That was a lot of fun. Big Bad Beetleborgs. Oh my god, I forgot that exact existed. Street Shark Samurai Pizza Cats. Does anyone remember Sharky and George? That was cool as well. Uh, like, they were like private detectives in the ocean. Oh, all this singing's making my throat dry. <clears throat> Do you remember the Visionaries or Jason the Wheeled Warrior? I remember Jason the Wheeled Warriors. I don't remember the Visionaries. I also remember um, Skeleton Warriors. That was... Uh, I actually... About four or five years ago, I was really hungover and didn't know what to do because I felt like crap. So I just thought, screw it, I'll watch some uh, Skeleton Warriors. And I watched the first few episodes of that. And it's surprisingly deep for a kids' TV show. Like, it opens up with, like, this royal family all, um, like, they make some, what the, the prince makes some terrible decision that screws them all over and destroys the kingdom, and it's immediately like a story of redemption and regret, which, I don't remember that being the case when I was a kid, but, um, it was surprisingly, like, mature, uh, in, in theme for a kid's show. Yeah. Skeleton Warriors. Again, another great theme song, right? It's full of synths and electric guitars. Everything was heavy metal in the late 80s and early 90s. Yeah, I kind of feel sorry for kids today. I know, I know everyone says, every generation says that the next generation's stuff is terrible, but I really do feel like cartoons have just... I, I don't know, they've changed a lot. I think they're all, they're all trying to appeal to too wide an audience now cartoons of the 80s and 90s, they knew what their audience was. It was nine-year-olds who wanted to buy toys. You, re you released your cartoon, and then you released some toys. Or, in some cases, you released some toys, and then you made a cartoon based around the toys. It was a good model, back when capitalism wasn't completely broken. Biker Mice from Mars. Again, like, is there a more heavy metal concept? That's just, that whole... Oh, oh it's daytime. The dog man has prowled these woods for longer than you can remember. Urban legends, myths, campfire stories that your great grandfather passed on to your grandfather, to your father, to you. You never believed in the dog man of Ravenwood Bluff. Thought it was an old wives' tale. Oh, how wrong you were. For skills has died in the night. You have. 
uh, let's say seven minutes, so 42 after whatever hour it currently is in your time zone. Good luck. Happy hunting. All right, let's chat toilet. Gills, would you like to have a chat? Lead the way. Checking, shall we? <clears throat> uh, we, sh we should probably catch up, Maggot, if you're up for it. Oh, no, okay. Wow. Rude. Very. <laughs> Uh, Alejo, want to chat? Yeah, sure. Good um, <clears throat> hello. Oh. So, uh, all of the people that I talked to with yesterday have gone off into other rooms. So maybe I'll, maybe we should, uh, since we're neighbours, we should share some info. Sure. Um, you wanted to get yourself executed yesterday. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm happy to, if you're happy to hard claim to me, I'm happy to tell you why I was going to volunteer myself. For sure. Uh, do you remember last uh, last time we ran BMR on a uh, Gen Con game? I remember it happening. I don't remember the specific details. I was the courtier. Tyler was the apprentice uh, with the DA ability, and I drank the DA at the start of the game. Okay. Are you the courtier again now? Well, we don't have an apprentice this time, so I'm trying again. <laughs> so you are the courtier? Then. Yes. Unfortunately, okay, cool. Madeline didn't survive. Right, okay, interesting. Um, little, little caught here. Okay, cool. Uh, so I'm the pacifist. Okay. Uh, which is why I was happy to nominate myself, because, I mean, I, I quite like the pacifist, because it's it's powerful enough that you don't feel sidelined, but it's not so powerful that you don't feel obliged to stay alive. You know what I mean? So yeah. I thought, but, go on. I feel like uh, a lot of storytellers tend to use the pacifist in such a way that, like you, you're not going to be able to predict it. So, like, I feel like there's a lot of storytellers who will be less incentivized to use it on a self, with you nominating yourself day one. Like, obviously, absolutely can can happen. It depends on the storyteller. Um, yeah, and maybe no, a storyteller would do it because we think that. Yeah, I mean, I'm. This is it. I'm like, I, I, either I get proven or I get taken off the list. Both of those are net positive as far as I'm concerned. Sure. Um, but yeah, the, I mean the the downside of the uh, of the um, pacifist is that in the late game, when you probably are concerned about dying, um, the people then start saying, "Hey, well, you know, nothing's happened yet. We can't prove you. Let's kill you." And then you're worried that you that it's you and four evils alive or whatever. Yeah, I mean, if someone uh, is executed and doesn't die in the next couple of days, provided no one drinks with me, then that confirms you as far as I'm concerned. Provided there isn't another explanation for it. So, sorry, who have you chosen again? DA. You've chosen the DA, right, okay. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Make a little note of that on here, then. Uh, there we go. Okay, cool. Good stuff. Um, any idea what's going on with that whole maggot Jackie thing? Do you, do you reckon None whatsoever. I don't, I don't know what's happening there. I don't know what's happening with Patters and Madeline, either. Um... I got the impression that Patters was claiming to be a tinker. Um, That's what with Madeline, Madeline claimed to me. Sure. So that those two are claiming the same thing. There was one kill last night, so that was a potentially a godfather. Do you think that could have been a po charge last night? Uh, it could have been a po charge. Or it could have been a godfather. A it could have been an assassin. Uh, it couldn't have been a zomball. It could have been a pucker. I mean, it could have been a zomball without a. Um, uh, with a godfather kill, right? If Madeline is the tinker. Oh, of course, yeah, because Madeline could have died to her own ability. Yeah. yeah. That's an interaction that's never crossed my mind before, actually, but that's no, quite no. clever. No, Madeline could have died to her to the to the execution, um, and then the godfather would have got a kill because an outsider died. That would explain yeah. why there were no other deaths, just just skills. So yeah, but god, of course that's, uh, not, that's not a zomble. Well, it would be. It could be indicative of a zomble. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah. yeah right. That's that's what I mean. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Just trying to figure so, out what demon we've got. Uh, I'm going to go and try and get a chat with uh, um, Jams before they accuse me of being evil. Fair enough. Good luck. So, yeah. <clears throat> uh, who wants to chat? I'll chat to you then. All right, let's go to uh, the rain Rainbow Stab Alley. Hey. Hello. Hello. What? So, would you uh, do you want to exchange some info? Uh, let me think. What would I exchange with you? 
I mean, yeah, I'm not sure how, how decent it's going to be, but we can go for it. Okay, well, I will tell you that I am the grandmother who saw somebody else as a thing, but obviously I'll not tell you who that is and what they are. Cool. Um, I've hard claimed a couple of times this game, so I'm not going to do that right now, but I will tell you that my character involves drunk being drunk or causing drunkening. Uh, okay, so that would make you sailor slash uh, innkeeper, I think. Slash courtier slash ah. minstrel slash goon. Okay, I've heard a hard claim of courtier elsewhere, so that means I've got you down to four. Okay, uh, yeah, that's I'm fair. Not that I mean, I, I can understand why you don't want to go whole hog. Um, yeah, okay, good to know. Uh, I. I think uh, if you are the sailor or the innkeeper, don't choose Alejo. Okay, why is that? Uh, because Alejo ha intends to do something tonight, uh, and I don't want it to misfire for them. Okay, fair enough. Assuming I'll they're telling me the truth. Yeah, I'll keep that in mind. Okay, all right. Wicked. Thanks very much. Cheers. See you in a bit. There's Madeline yeah, messing there around yeah. in chat. Uh, skills? Do you fancy a chat? It's Cheryl either way. Hello, Ben. Hello. Uh, I'm just wondering if you fancy, uh, now that you're dead, exchanging a bit of info. Uh, yeah, I was the actual gossip. You was the actual gossip? Yeah. Wow. So what have you got an idea on these other two that are claiming gossip, then? Um... Uh, gossip is a role that's a good cover for a bunch of different reasons. That I is true, who, yeah. Who else, who else is game, claiming it? So, uh, so apparently Jackie's claiming it, and I only know this because I've been told Jackie is, is in a double claim with Maggot, and on day one, my first chat was Maggot and me, and I said, I'm going to tell you what I am, uh, and you tell me what you are, and we'll back each other up later down the line, and Maggot claimed gossip. It was one of those... Oh. Apparently, you can't. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back to town. I say. You know. Welcome back to town. Um, as you may have saw over the for the day, a duos ex fiasco has appeared. This is the Gen Con stream, so, so you begin to teach you how to fuck up in style. Um, <laughs> I have made a mistake uh, that cannot be fixed um, to an extent that, like, it, it basically the the best fixed uh, that we can do right now is I have informed the players that it, it involves of the mistake. I have asked the players. Um, what they would like to do, um, and we have decided that we're just going to play the game as is. Um, I apologize for the mistake, but there is no, no fix that can make the game better than what we're currently living in right now. So, onwards you go. I'll take gossips. I'll be asking for donations in a few moments. I would like to quickly, before any gossips, just let Town know that the double claim that Maggot was in with Jackie, when Maggot said it was resolved, Maggot was actually separately in a double claim with Tom. So, <laughs> so okay. the two roles, the two roles that Maggot gave to Jackie were Jackie's role and Tom's role. Nice. I can I can add to that actually. My our first chat on day one was Maggot and myself, and we both had an agreement where it was like we'll just tell each other now, and then we can back each other up down the line. And I'm now almost certain that Maggot lied to me. That's not necessarily indicative of evil, but I think combined with the other weirdness, I, you got to appreciate Maggot while why I'm. Not exactly favourable yep. to your continued survival at this point. Yep, that's fine. <laughs> I know what's <laughs> happened. Okay. Jackie would like to gossip. The demon is between George and Ben, clockwise inclusive. Heard. I would like to gossip that a mistake has been made this game. <laughs> Heard, dick. Alea would like to gossip. <laughs> Alea would like to gossip that the demon has made one kill so far this game. Heard. Ben would like to gossip that one of the minions is a godfather. Heard. George would like to gossip that Maggot is evil AF. <laughs> heard. Unconventional, but heard. James will gossip that Maggot is actually mechanically confirmed good. Ooh. Heard. Something tells me that wasn't a gossip, Jams. Uh, no, it, was, it, was it was subtle. Yeah, it was very subtle. <laughs> right, that's, that's I, would need, I would need more information in order to trust Maggot being mechanically confirmed good 
Um, Despite the fact that MAGA is in two separate double claims. I don't think there is a fair way for me to give that information without referring to um, things that happened in the game that maybe shouldn't have happened. Can we so, chat about um, it tomorrow, Jams? Yes. Cool. Uh, to be fair, I am more inclined to, to trust players that are in double claims oftentimes over players that aren't because evil players usually get the story straight pretty quickly, right? Nominations are open. Ooh. Tyler well, will to go ahead and nominate Maggot. Tyler nominates Maggot. I respect what Jam is saying. The mechanical, if the mechanical information is based off what they are saying, the mechanical information is based off of, then I think it's the fairest thing to do to relieve that problem. Uh, beyond that, multiple double claims. Um, you never break the covenant of first conversation uh, hard claim. You just don't do it. It's not done. Uh, and I gossip that Maggot is evil AF. All right, it will take yeah. uh, two. And I defend. You kill. Tyler and Madeline and Skills are the only uh, people that May I defend this? Oh. Yes, go ahead. There are reasons why I've been claiming what I've been claiming. Once it comes out, people don't understand. I won't oppose to being killed, but it's why I see a good player as I'm um, mechanically confirmed as well. It will take... Two of well, three eligible votes. Back, hold on. Okay. Let me push back on that. The, the thing that Jams is referring to is obviously something that should not be. Yes, true. Um, so I don't I, think it's fair for the continuation of the game. Can I clarify, perhaps? Okay. Um, there would have been mechanical confirmation if there wasn't a mistake. So... Ooh. It is, it is genuinely a question about the continuation of the game, if I'm being completely honest. I'm not quite sure how to play this, but um, we are on stream, so we're going to try and make it work. I think we should all just agree that you can't okay. unknow things, right? We can't yep. unknow yeah. things that we know. We must play with the information that we have, whether we whether it's whether it's ideal or not. So don't feel bad about it. Just roll with it. Roll with it. Like, uh, as, as I stated to James in private, I made a mistake. You, you can use the information that you want, so... Use the information, but as with the vote here, we have three, a two to kill, uh, to kill Maggot starting now. And jams, you want this? Yeah, I, I want to pose. Don't, I don't want this skills. I, I want to pose to this. I'll be honest. He can vote, but the, she said the wi Wi-Fi is out. Oh, there we go. I will <laughs> only vote if um, it's on Potters. <laughs> I have no internet except for my So phone. is that enough? Because you don't need a majority, right? Yeah, one is enough. They could. One is enough. Yes, we could yeah. beat it. Well, you can I'm beat it. Yes. Yeah, so Maggot is on the block right now. I think it's unlikely that Jams is lying about a mistake whilst evil to convince Patters someone to not kill Patters nominates Tom. Patters nominates Tom. Patters, tell me why. Tom is in a double claim with Maggot, and Maggot is mechanically confirmed. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> All right, Tom. I uh, don't know about that. Maggot seems a bit more sus than me, so I mean, vote if you want to. We're not going to learn anything from killing me right now. All right, it will take two to uh, beat the pa the maggot nomination starting now. I think we should. I'm a better. I'm a better good choice. I don't think. I'll come out with it tomorrow, but I, I am a better. <clears throat> Any other nominations? Any day in five. Bill's question. Question real quick. Right. Feels would there be anybody that you'd want to vote on? Madeline has told me that she only wants to vote on uh, her double claim. I don't have enough info to make that call right now, Tyler. Unfortunately. Alrighty. If we want to kill Maggot. That's fine. It will clear up some things. I think. I would. I'm saying five, four, um, three, two. I nominate one. Jackie. Sorry, just after the one. Uh, this is Maggot dying, but Maggot is executed and does not die. Everyone, please go to sleep. Interesting. <clears throat> okay, that's pretty good. That's very good. Um, so, I think it's quite likely that Jams... Ah, okay, I see what the mistake was here. Um, Madeline shouldn't have died because Jams is the tea lady. 
Okay, that's the mistake that was made. Interesting. Okay, so... Well, that's quite good because... Uh, now we can reasonably so we can go to we sh we we have a reason to talk to jams now we can go and say right i'm the pacifists um <clears throat> the i think the problem with that though is that um by telling jams that there's no way oh no because that's a death in the night we're good we're all no no that was an execution so yeah by telling by telling jams that there's no other way that madeline could have um died that's essentially told jams that our bluff is bogus uh <laughs> okay i think we yeah okay right that's a problem but it's not an, it's not a hurdle that we can't overcome all we have to do is sink some kills and then get ourselves executed hello that's ben our... hello so patters uh... is the exorcist Oh, okay. Uh, just a quick question. Yeah. Um, so uh, I don't know if you can answer this or not, but I'm I've been bluffing pacifists. If the mistake you've made is that Jams is the tea lady and Madeline shouldn't have died, then that may have been you accidentally telling Jams that there is no pacifist in play. So I'm just informing you that that's what I'm assuming is going on, and I'm going to play according to that assumption. So, explain to me how that would uh, show Jam there wasn't a pacifist in play. So, if M Madeline is good, and good as per the pacifist's ability, good players might not die. So, you would have had another reason to um, to stop Madeline from dying if you had forgotten about the T. I suppose actually, it kind of just means you made a mistake on multiple fronts, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Like, oh, okay, like, right, yeah, that was yeah. good. I think I, I think I ever thought that one actually. I'm, I'm not confirming or not confirming what the newest is. I will confirm that at the end, but um, I will say that I did think before I went to jams, I and whoever else I went to that day, I did think about every single um, uh, uh, uh encounter and why it would happen and why it wouldn't happen. Um, because I do make a lot of mistakes, but at least I think them through when I make my mistakes. Yeah, to be honest with you, I screw up running Bad Moon Rising all the time, and it's my favorite script. It's so hard to run. It's oh, it's, it's my favorite script to run. Yeah, I, it's my like, w yeah. I, I can't say anything more about it because uh, game state and such. But I will say that when I explain everything at the end, it will make sense because oh god, my brain. <laughs> Bye, friends. <laughs> okay. All right. Cool. Uh, thank you. Okay. Um, right. Yeah. I, I think we're good. I think we're fine. So. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna have a chat with Jams tomorrow. <coughs> yeah, we're good. I hope Alejo was telling the truth about being the courtier who chose Devil's Advocate. Hmm. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Let's make a little note of that. So we've been chosen by the exorcist, that means we do not get to act tonight. I think we should start sinking kills now anyway, because we've been exorcisted. And I think we should start simulating a zomble. <clears throat> Jackie should die now. But we just don't get to poison anyone, so no one will die tomorrow night, actually, that which is pretty good. <clears throat> yeah, we need to chat to George today to hide the successful exorcist choice. Some say that the dog man only kills those who deserve it. Ooh. Storytellers that have ran astray of their good nature and just seed chaos. Evil people. Townsfolk that pe that are secretly evil people. But you say that the dogman is just kind of a dick. No one has died in the night. You have until the next hour in your time zone. Good luck. 
We Happy call him dog. The dick man. Tyler, can I speak to you, please? Sure. No, the dick man is a different legend. Uh, Jam, shall up. we have that oh, yeah. chat? Uh, yeah, we can chat. Hello. So, um, having discussed it with chat at night, we believe that you are the tea lady and that Madeline shouldn't have died. Is that about right? That, um, yeah, I mean, honestly, I don't feel great about using mistakes as, like, kind of part of the game, but also this becomes an unsolvable game when someone who shouldn't have died was killed. So, in short, yes. Yeah, no, that's fine. I mean, that's, yeah. there's not really much we can... I'm, I imagine if I figured it out, and I'm pretty dumb, the evil team's probably figured it out as well, so... Yeah, I think yeah. that will take care of itself sooner or later, right? For better or yeah, worse. Yeah, which is, which is not, not the worst thing. Yeah. Um, so, I'm, I'm glad that I was right about that, because it means I do need to talk to you, because I am the pacifist. Okay. So, it is entirely possible that uh, Tom is evil. Yeah, I think I'd be still very interested in killing Tom. Socially, Tom seemed evil. Um, just in the way that they were happy to push on Maggot, and to my perspective. I mean, it's. I think if Madeline had lived, you know, I would have assumed that Maggot was good and acted as if Maggot was good. So I don't see any reason not to be like, from my perspective, Maggot is good. Um, and I think the way that Tom pushed on Maggot seemed very evil of like, oh, I'm going to really grab onto things that other people are like suggesting and then kind of hammer them down as if... Yeah. Like this is these are all the reasons why this person is evil. I'm um, inclined to agree. Um have you had a chance to talk to Alejo? I've not. What's Alejo claim? Alejo's claimed to be courtier and should be tonight going into their third night of of drunkening a um devil's advocate, which is useful info for both of us. Oh, okay. I don't I mean, given that there's a pacifist and a tea lady. I think it's unlikely that we ha ever had a devil's advocate, but Alejo, if telling the truth, has at least done us the favor of, you know, mean it, g guaranteeing that we can act on our own information. Yeah. Red right Hunt. All right. Fantastic. Um, good talk. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. See you later. All right. Good luck. <clears throat> hey, Hello. Hey, um, Mads, you shouldn't have died on day one. That's what I was trying to tell you at the end of the day. <laughs> oh, I couldn't hear you. Um, yeah. And we could use data. I don't yeah. know how to reset the Wi Fi. I don't know how to reset the Wi Fi. Reset the power to your house. That'll do it. Oh my god, I don't. <laughs> and I'm too short to reach the Wi Fi thing. <laughs> no, it has to be at the top shelf. Hey, like, you short. told me the truth uh, the other day, right? Uh, you want to go talk about it? Uh, well, hey, I, you want to have, yeah, I have told George I'll have a chat with him, but hopefully we can go after it. Let's go. <laughs> George, have you used it yet? No, not yet. I didn't cool. want to double up on you. Use it tonight because I got exorcist by Patters the Exorcist last night. Oh, fuck. Okay. Don't use it on right. Patters, though. Use it on literally anybody but Patters. Tyler is yeah. evil, by the way. Tyler is evil. Great. Yeah. Uh, I think I think Jams is the tea lady, so I might just she take is, her yeah. out, but... Yeah. Yeah, that's not a bad shout. So, yeah, in I, fact, I, I do, I do take out too. gems. The day, is, the day is not over, but Jackie has died in the night. Continue your talks, I'm sorry. <laughs> Jackie oh. died in well, the night? In the, Jackie at night. Not, died in the not night. right now during the day. Not right now. I did not announce the startup. I'm sorry, Jackie died in the night. <laughs> so, so, so basically... A lot of our um, conversation. Patter so, that nullifies her. I, I am I am going to give you more time. I'm going to give you another six minutes to retalk. I'm sorry. No, I'm not. So I'm not frustrated with you. I'm just uh, anyway. Amy? It's a, that makes things funny, Patters. I guess. I can't believe the dogman is that much well, of a dick to you, Dakota. Okay. Oh, sorry, I just assumed you were down here for me. No, that's fine. I'll talk to you. Yep. Uh, so definitely courtier, yeah. Uh, no, not the courtier. No, uh, sorry, no. Yes, yes, I'm the courtier. Didn't drink the DA. Oh, right, okay. So, yeah, because Hi, Jamie. I'm... Uh, here, here we are, Jamie. yeah. Jamie's so... also here. I'm fine with that if you are. Yeah, no, that's fine with me. I think Jams right. is objectively good, so... Well, I know yeah, Jams I is objectively good. Yeah, I thought you would ask good. me to join. It... Okay, sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm the courtier. Um, I said... I told everyone that I drank the DA. I actually, I actually drank the Pope uh, last night. <clears throat> so okay. if Jackie's something like a... If Jackie's something like a gambler... Um, I felt like Skills was most likely a gossip kill and that we were, we might have three deaths tonight. Um, Skills was the chambermaid, by the way. 
Oh, yeah. okay. Skills claimed that to me. Yeah, with a one on you and Roxy. Do you know if Roxy woke up? Me and, me and Roxy, or Ben and Roxy. Uh, so uh, you, Ale Alejo and Roxy. I actually, yeah, okay, I actually okay. know what Roxy is. Did she have woken on night one? Yeah, yes, yes, she should, because she claimed to be the grandmother. And not only did she claim to be the grandmother, she claimed to be my grandmother. Did she get Well, I right? wish I knew that. She did get me right, but only after I told her what I was, so... Uh, <laughs> well, yeah. I wish it... well, I wish uh, I so knew it's not really getting me night. right, is it? <laughs> I wish funny. I knew that so... last night, because that suggests a puka to me. Yeah. Yep, yeah, yeah, I'm inclined to agree. So I've wasted my ability. Um, not necessarily though. You can lie about it and say that you drunk the puka and see what happens. <laughs> Just see how people yeah. react to it. I feel like you could get some decent social reads off of how panicked someone sounds when they find out that a puka specifically is Cordia drunk. Yeah. 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 Fine by me. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Sweet. Cool. All right, cheers. So presumably one of them would have to be true. Unless Booker, right? Then it's Booker. Yeah. That makes hey, sense. Hey, Jams. Hey, Skills. Can we talk real quick? Yep. All right. Um, quick PSA for everyone who isn't aware. Uh, I have been deceiving you all. I have been a no. mischievous one. Uh, I told everyone that I was the uh, courtier who has uh, drunk the devil's advocate um, because that's what I did last time. Uh, I am, in fact, the courtier who has drunk the puka, and I did it last night. So, if it's a puka game, hooray, got plenty of time. If it's a po game, boo. If it's a <laughs> game, boo. If it's a Shabaloth game, it's probably not a Shabaloth game, but still, boo. Doesn't feel like a Shabaloth game so far, <laughs> unless weird things happen, but yeah. If it's a Shabaloth game, huh? <laughs> 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 if I were the Shabaloth, I'd be tidy like that, too. You eat, <laughs> clean up after yourself, you eat. You know what I mean? Don't leave shit on the counter. I mean, the shit's coming when, it, when it's time. Yeah, no, I thought you might be in a potential double claim. Do you want a quick chat? Who, me? Yeah. Okay. I'm go giving on, away man. all my, my demon player Sounds secrets. A bit weird. Yo. Yeah, it's just an excuse to come and chat to you. So, Jackie dying, does that change who you want to kill? I was thinking Jams is a tea lady, but I'm not sure no, now. Jams, 100% Jams. Oh, Jams, yeah? Okay, that's yeah. fine. I've heard there's another grandmother claim. Did you and Roxy do the grandmother thing? Yes, yes we did, yeah. Okay. Apparently there's another grandmother claim going What's around. What's this conversation about, if anyone asks? Um, double claim of grandmother. Don't know. Okay, right, yep. Okay, cool, sounds yep. good. Yeah, I was just interrogating you. All right. Jams, I want to talk to you tomorrow. Yeah, oh, wait, okay. Tomorrow's fine, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, not not today. Even if there's the whole day, not today. Well, is it this I'm back? I'm not going to vote today. Since, since everyone's back, I'm not going to drag a couple minutes to talk. Um, As you're extending the day for us, or or just we're in town square now. I've heard the, the grandmother double claim. Wow. All right, Ben. I, Old me. Are you a grandmother? I don't feel comfortable answering that. Should I answer that? One of my attorneys want to jump in here. <laughs> yeah. Jams, Elena, you you're my legal team. You'd have to say, you'd have to say squat. <laughs> All hearsay. You needed well, a southern lawyer because your actual lawyers aren't saying shit. <laughs> yeah, I, know, right? I need one of those ones with a little spin of yarn. I say, uh, I say your, honor, your honor, I believe that this question, <laughs> I objectify this question. That's not an accurate <laughs> legal <laughs> method. <laughs> I, I still maintain that this is bad. It's wrong. Do we have any <laughs> experts in anything bird law? Say, anything that you do say, Ben, may be taken down and used as evidence against you. That's all That's I mean. True. I'm <laughs> literally picturing Ben's representation being Foghorn Leghorn at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Your Honor, I'm just going to finish up this piece of fried chicken. It is delectable. Uh, I, I objectify this question. It's a beautiful question. I've not seen a question like this it's in my so whole true. life. That's right. <laughs> Wow, does uh, that answer your question, the Paz? I, uh, the reason I think you're the person in a double claim is because George just came in and said, you're in a double claim. So either you are in the double claim, or George is in the double claim, but one of you is in the double it's, claim. So, I have had a hard claim of grandmother, and it's neither me nor George. Hmm. Well, Ben told me, and I've just been informed in the previous few minutes, that there was another claim of grandmother, so I wanted to grill Ben about it. Oh man, I don't I believe either of you. It's crazy. 
crazy. Why are, why are there so many double claims in this game? I That's don't know. You, you, you tell me. <laughs> I, I mean, you guys have seen the Deus Ex fiasco. There you go. Yeah, I, I don't think yeah. that's the one. No, I don't think that's the reason. Yeah. I feel like ever since Ben came out and went, I trust people more that are in double claims. Everyone's just on it. Okay, I will fun. nominate myself. Ben nominates Ben. Ben, please tell me why. Uh, I th I think that uh, well, the character that I am is not necessary. Is maybe more confusing than useful going forward. Uh, there's several people who've said they don't believe me. Uh, and I'm not like the biggest loss in the world, so uh, I don't mind dying. All right, uh, only Jackie, Madeline, Tyler, or Skills can uh, vote starting now. I will not vote. Interesting. Two, three. Mm -hmm. um, three is enough. Any other nominations ending the day in 20 seconds? Ben, I would look at changing your legal team. <laughs> Uh, I'd like to nominate George, please. You'd like to nominate George? Jam nominates George, please tell me why. Um, I've heard of an evil ping on George, and it would be good to get some information from his kill. Also, George? I'm the DA, and I protected George, so he won't die. George, your defense? Oh, well, apparently I'm protected. It's fine. No worries. Alright, it will take four, all four dead votes, to uh, overturn. Starting now. Meddling, will you do rather we do kill me? No? I don't want to get taken off if... Yeah, well, a, just... That's the second right, time right Are now. you just flatly saying that you won't vote for anybody other than Patters? 20 seconds before end of the day. I'll nominate Jams. Patrick nominates Jams. Patrick, tell me why, please. This is the second time Jams have claimed a minion. At some point, you have to wonder. You have to really wonder. Is that just being like, yeah, what are you going to do about it? So I think Jams should die. All right, Jams. Oh, both of the grandmothers are my grandmother, so I'm doubly confirmed. All right, I believe this. Three, two, <laughs> tie, four to die. Once again, Skills, Tyler, Jackie, Madeline, the only people who can vote, starting now. I like that both Pats are high fiving each other. <laughs> <laughs> One is not <laughs> enough. I'll be ending the day in ten seconds. Don't tell anybody, but we're your grandmothers. Is um, Madeline not able to eight, hear me? Seven, I can hear y'all. I just do not know what to vote on because I'm busy with this. Okay. Two, one. Okay. Ben has been executed and dies. Woo. Everyone, please go to sleep. For a moment, I thought that would just oh, the game is over. Okay, so um, we've got ourselves executed. That means tomorrow is definitely the final day of the game. I think this is probably our best route to victory because it's only a matter of time before Jams decides that we're evil. George will get the kill tonight. Um, so we've had two nights both with deaths. So Paz probably won't think he's the he's successfully chosen someone as exorcist. So as long as George comes through, and as long as nobody suggests we are double tapped, we should be all right. <clears throat> I think we just need to stop uh, Roxy or George from being executed tomorrow. <clears throat> and we can absolutely guarantee that's the case. We just, we need to speak to Tyler. Yeah. We need to catch a quick chat with Tyler, but it needs to be subtle. Because I think Jams is probably, like, on to us. Yeah, George does need to dodge the innkeeper, but I think ultimately that will be the decision of the storyteller, really. I think the real problem will be if the innkeeper is protecting jams. <clears throat> I think we can do this. There is I I will be very surprised if I don't hear any cries of double tap Ben tomorrow. 
And do you know what, guys? If uh, if the game ends at the end of tomorrow, that gives me a nice 30 minutes until the official stream, which means I can go and uh, make a cup of tea, you know, maybe wash a few dishes, dishes need doing, get a, get a few essentials done before we play some more Clock Tower at 8 p.m. So I'd say that's a win-win for everyone involved, right? It's a win. It's a win for us, which means it's a win for all of you, and it's also a win for my kitchen, which is in a bit of a state. Today, the dog man is not a lazy son of a bitch and will kill immediately. George is dead. You have four minutes. So fortunately, um, our currently is. The uh, Jamie, can we continue our chat from yesterday, please? Yes. Is that name? Yeah, quick question. If it's if, if if they are a dogman, aren't they actually a son of a bitch? Hi. Hello. Uh, so apparently Kota misheard me last night um, and thought I said uh, hold rather than po. Um, so last night I drank the puka. <clears throat> oh, okay, good stuff. But then we had two deaths, so... We had two deaths? I think we just had right. one, didn't we? we had one death. We did indeed just have one death. So yeah. I'm going to assume that that's an assassin. Uh, but then why would they not assass assassinate me? Because I did publicly claim for a drunk pooper. <laughs> Unless well, Jackie dying. I don't know. Did anyone gossip yesterday? I mean, when you said that as well, sorry to put in, but when you said that, Alejo, I, I believe there were four people in private chats. So it could just be one of those four. Uh, true. Uh, and Jamie, not that I heard. I'm surprised. If that was an assassination... And it was a shit one because, I mean, yeah, what is George? So George claimed to be the gambler to me, like day oh, two George or three or something. literally just died to the gambler ability. Possible. I mean, presumably he'll be wanting to spill the beans if he really was the gambler. If there's a, so if George was poisoned last night and there's a <clears throat> innkeeper or a a uh, sailor that drunk with me last night, I'm not going to be happy. Do you guys know what Tom is? Because I've had a conversation with Tom. I mean, if Jamie is good, then Tom has to be good, right? <laughs> Not if Ben propped on Tom. That's oh my god. Yeah, so Tom has claimed to be a character that interacts with drunkenness in some way. So when when he told me that, I struck obviously Alejo's courtier off the list, which means Tom, if he's telling the truth, is either the sailor, the innkeeper, the minstrel, or the goon. Sure. So it's entirely possible that that happened, and I think we probably need to get a chat with Tom. Yeah, I think so. Uh, all right. Well, I'll leave you two to it. Cheers. Cheers. I, th I think Tom would be an excellent choice today, right? Yeah, I'm happy with that. Because we, we learned something either regardless. Way. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, although, obviously, if he's the sailor, this just gets more confusing, but... Welcome back to town. Welcome back to town. You uh, now make sure they're open, starting oh. now. Did you get that, Tom? I did not get that. Ah, uh, boo. A uh, boo. Um, Tom, are you a character that can select people? Um, is it worth me just coming out completely now? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I'm the minstrel. Ooh, you too. Oh. That's the another difficult name. Is what is that? I've spoken to someone who says they were claiming me, and they've backed down from that. Well, they were claiming something else that some that they were backing down from when they told me minstrels. So. <laughs> anyway, so I, from, I, from my perspective, we've not killed minions yet. I don't think so. I'll, I'll just come out with my information. I'm the gambler, and I'm not sure whether my death last night was just a regular demon kill because I gambled the previous night, Tom, as the minstrel. I'm sorry, Tom, if you come out with that. Sorry, if you haven't. Yep. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, and and uh, I was fine, and then I gambled Thomas the Minstrel again yesterday because I didn't trust any of the other claims I've been given, and then I died. So, <clears throat> I mean, yeah. that would suggest that Tom is the Minstrel, right? Yep. Unless I was Puka poisoned, but right, is that how it works? No. So gambler no. actually goes before the Puka, so the poison wouldn't affect it because you'd be dead by the time you were picked. Oh, that's yeah. cool then. Right, I'm happy with Tom yeah. then. Tom is a good boy. Yay. You also, yeah, you also couldn't have been Puka picked because I picked the Puka. Yeah, yeah so, 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 so unless, Tom, you're specifically selected tonight, then we didn't kill a minion, then we should be good, right? Mm -hmm. Second call for nominations. 
I'm no, just gonna. Roxy's a good Leon nominates Patrick. Aleo nominates Patrick. Aleo, please tell me why. I don't disagree with your skills uh, on Roxy, um, but I think there is also every chance that Patrick is uh, evil, unlikely demon, um, but Patrick is in a double claim with a player that I trust more. All right, uh, Patrick, your defense, please. Cool. I mean, that's an easy explanation for that. I just lied to you, so there you go. <laughs> All right. The votes that can happen are George, Tyler, Skills, Ben, Jackie, Madeline. Starting right now. One. Two. Three. Patrick is on the block. Any more nominations? Maggot, what is your what role? Is your role? the dude who hasn't turned. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. End of the day in 20 seconds. I'll nominate Maggot. Patrick nominates Maggot. Patrick, tell me why. If Maggot claims to be a good that has a turn, we might as well lock him in as good. All right. It will take uh, three to tie, four to die. I'm so, not allowed a defense. Sorry, Matt, go ahead. <laughs> that one on purpose. For the second time. <laughs> oh, oh, no. That one on purpose. I'm happy to be locked in as good at this point. I don't think I'm going to die from this based on what I know. So we're going to be wasting time going for me rather than going for Patrick at this point. Yeah, just to add to this, if we don't believe we've killed an evil player if we trust Tom, then that means that Maggot might turn tonight and there's going to be four evil votes with not many people left alive. So this is still a better execution than me. Yeah, but the, the issue is with that is, based on knowing what I know, I'm going to survive today. All right, it takes three to tie, four to die starting now. Uh, Jams, what am I doing? Um, oh, well. I kind of want to double tap you, to be honest. For uh, the... I'm fine with that. Not... Uh, Skills would first... like to exile uh, Tyler, please. Skills would like to exile Tyler. Skills, tell me why. <clears throat> um, the Vudan's done its job. I think it's time to allow the actual players that are alive to vote on this. Wow, actual players. That's shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, players, the players that are alive. Oh, oh, are um, I think we have a lot of good players in the Deadpool, so I'm not really sure. I don't really understand the logic behind this. So, um, yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't know what they mean by actual players. In but on the clock tower, death is not the end, and uh, Voodon illustrates that better than any other traveler. All right. So, uh, dead votes do not count. You can vote freely, but it will take seven to exile Tyler. Starting now. This will be a one second vote. I won't vote on this. You won't, I'm Madeline? Gonna... Yeah, correct. Because I couldn't get to the laptop, so therefore I can't indicate anything. Five is not seven. Tyler is not exiled. Any more nominations? I mean, leave, leaving Tyler in if we don't believe we've killed any evil players means that good players have voting power, right? I don't think Agreed. there's a mechanical world where we can have not killed any evil players right now. If we... Maggot, if you think you would survive... I was going to say, we should probably try Tom to see if he is still... Way I would, would, would Jamie, you, I'll nominate Jamie, Ben. Can... Yeah. Jams nominates Ben. Jams, tell me why. Um... I, there's like a weird outside world where today is a mastermind day and last night was an assassin kill. Um, the weird assassin kill, but I don't know if I see the value in killing Patrick here because based on the votes on Patrick, Patrick is very unlikely to be the demon. Ben? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's if, if you think it's necessary then let's do it. Three to tie, four to die. Once again, uh, Tyler, Skills, Ben, Jackie, Madeline, and George are the only two who can vote on this. Starting now. I mean, Jamie, if, if Ben is evil, then there's another living player who's evil, right? Madeline, are you voting? Yes, yes I'm Ben. Yeah. So that's another option for us. Okay, well, I'm not going to tie it. 
So two votes, because Madeline cannot get to their uh, computer to vote. I will count Madeline's vote. Two votes is not enough. Any more nominations than the day in 10. Patters nominates Tom. Patters nominates Tom. Patters, tell me why. If Jams believes that no dead players are evil, then Tom must be evil. Because Tom is claiming minstrel. Uh, Tom? Uh, I don't know why Patters is good in for me all game, but yeah, I don't. Okay. I've got nothing else to say. You've We're been the only done. person nominating We're me, done. Patters. Starting now. Well, that was because of the double claim thing, <laughs> which was then resolved by Maga being a bloody goon. Um, I tried. And, and, uh, um, if, for this words, I'm, I'm backing up Tom. Zero is if, not three nor four. Last call for nomination at the end of the well, day. If, Ten. So then, nine. I don't understand Jams's belief there is an evil Seven. player dead. If Tom Sickle. is dead. I mean, it'll be telling. If nine. I survive this execution, it'll be very four, interesting. Three. Two. One. Patrick is executed and does not die. All right. Well, I'm not focused on the like... evil team has won. <laughs> Great. God damn it. Hey, roll time. I, mean, I tried. People didn't want to vote. I'm afraid you <laughs> you were not going to get enough, <laughs> regardless. No. This entire, this, this, well this entire game has been a shit show, thanks to what was <laughs> really the I, I, I really um, enjoyed it. <laughs> let me run through the grim. Uh, skilled with your chambermaid that was poisoned on night one. Got a one between Alejo and Roxy, which was the correct answer. However, with the demon bluffs of grandmother, gambler, pacifist, I was assuming they would pick gambler or, or, or pick grandmother, honestly. So I'd want to give them wiggle room and uh, I want to give uh, skills reasons to think they may be poisoned if Roxy is claiming to be a royal who starts up. That's why I gave skills correct information. Uh, Roxy was the mastermind, uh, which won the game. Alejo was the courtier that. Uh, Apparently, so here's something, here's a fun mistake that didn't really change the game at all, really. Um, so Alejo claims to say a po to me, not last night, but the day before. I thought I heard them say hold, but um, again, even though they did say po, like the demon wasn't a po, it was a puka we'll go to, but I did give them a, a chance to use their ability again because I did not hear them say po. They then picked puka, but too bad the puka was already dead. Ben was your puka, that was exorcist chosen on the day that they died. Um, Patters was your exorcist. That got goon drunk on the first night, and then picked Ben. Jackie, Jackie was your gossip. Ben. That what? I'm upset. Patters kept me good. Just uh, yeah. try try not uh, to interrupt because uh, mm -hmm. Kona's, yeah, you're gonna get feedback. Yeah. Uh, Jackie was your gossip. That actually gossip correctly on the first night. Too bad they were poison picked by Ben. Um, they did die. I did misread the ability because I was already thrown by my mistakes from earlier. Um, I apologize for that, uh, but they did die um, the day that Patters uh, picked uh, Puka Ben. Um, at first, I thought that wasn't true, and then I was corrected, and then I killed him. Um, uh, Maggot was your goon. Good doll game. Jams was your tea lady. The reason for the duo sex fiasco. I had evil next to Maggot. I don't know why I put evil next to Maggot. Um, Maggot was not turned evil. Was not picked by anybody. I don't know why I put evil next to Maggot. I do apologize. Um, it did break the game. I'm sorry. All I can do is apologize. Uh, I, yeah. Uh, Madeline was your tinker that died when they shouldn't have. Tom was your minstrel that didn't act this game. George was your assassin that killed themselves on a mastermind day, which I thought was a really cool play. Patrick was your fool that didn't die last night, but didn't matter. Tyler was your evil Voodon, and that was your game of Bad Moons Rising. Well done. Um, Dak Dakota, I just want to say, I don't think you did break the game. Uh, I think you made one mistake that was quickly uh, told to people, and uh -huh. n another mistake which no one would have known was a mistake if you hadn't told us because you quickly corrected it. It could easily have just been you forgetting to announce the death or something like that. And the, f the fact that your one mistake benefited the good team but evil still won showed, I think, I think conclusively proves that it didn't break the game. So, uh, yeah, don't beat yourself up about it or anything. You did absolutely fine. Fair enough. Jackie had a correct gossip that same night too, Patters. Oh. Yeah, that, that, that was... That no, was no, uh... Jackie, Jackie's both poisoned and can't die because the book is... Well, if you exercise him, if you exercise Ben, right, yeah. then the poison is no longer in effect. The poison was on there the day before. The counter, the, the token remains... 
so that when Finn comes back online and they pick again, Jackie is then dead. They're not poisoned so, for two two days. So, so here's the, the thing. Gossip? What? No, so I was I was DM I was told that according to uh, uh, Almanac or, or I forget who stated it, Navian was the one who sent me this. That j even though Ben was exercised, they um, even though Ben was exercised, Jackie would still die because it, it didn't stop the kill. It just stopped them from waking up. That's, yep, that's correct. However, that's correct. Yep. If that isn't correct, if that isn't correct, which I was told, that's why I quickly killed Jackie because I was told that even though Ben was exercised, Jackie still dies. However, yeah. even if that isn't correct, Jackie did gossip correctly. So if we are saying that my mistake wasn't that Ben died, I will say that Jackie died for their, their gossip. So either way, Jackie was going to die there. But I was told that even though Ben uh, got exercised, the Puka kill still goes through. Yeah, that's, that's correct. correct. That's how it works, yeah. Because mm -hmm. it, because the exorcist only stops the Puka from waking. It yep. doesn't stop them from acting. Yeah. So if they've got yep. passive effects that are still going on, they still fire off. They just don't get woken up to do any things yep. that require them to be woken up. So the following night, there will be no deaths. That's right, yeah. And that's why I colluded with George the Assassin to kill Jams. But George felt... Uh, I mean, I think it was a good call that you killed yourself, George. Because it, well, it confused because I wanted people. The on, I wanted the voodoo on oh, power Of course, as well. yeah. That, that gave us um, majority and, vote. Oh, yeah. Also, I was starting to look sus. So <laughs> if I'm dead, they can't choose me and kill me for the Mastermind Day yeah, as well. Yeah, that was a very yeah. good decision. Did, I did say to George, because he was like, I'm just going to sow some chaos. And I went, can you not do too much chaos? Because um, mastermind here, please don't. <laughs> well, that's probably the best mastermind display I've seen. I, yeah, I think Maybe that ever. was a good, good display of the mastermind. All right, well, uh, that's all for...